Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, we are going to do this uh, freely suspended type problems in uh, Prism, okay, in the SolidWorks software. So, sheet setup first. Making a sheet as A4. Okay. Go on XY line first. So, we know XY line of uh, thickness 0 0.25. Text five x h p. So here you can see there is a square uh, square prism with the corner position. So always remember in this uh, freely suspended type of problem, the first position always starts from the corner. Okay, so we have to construct a square uh, for dimension. 35 okay angle we have to give 45 degree and have to get the corner position okay so show the dimensions so it is an uh, prism so it is having two faces top face and bottom face top face a b c d and the bottom face E1. Okay, so there is a line will be joined to find out the center of the axis. So thin line it is. Okay, thin line. The inside line has to be thin line. The center of the axis. So we have two notations O and O1. And we draw the front view. So you can see the front view having a dimension of 60. So first we draw projection lines. Okay, now actual line of 60. Give 60 here. So there are three lines you have to draw. 60. Then join dimension 60. So give the notations here. So from the front view, V dash, V dash, and C dash visible, but D dash visible. Same way for the bottom face here, V1 dash visible, V1 dash visible. C1 dash visible, but C1 dash not visible. Okay, and here O dash also not visible, and here O dash also not visible. So here uh, we have to find out center of the gravity point G point. So in the prism, it is exactly half of the axis. So here it is 60 mm axis means we have to mark at 30. Okay, we have to mark at 30. So for an, I'll be drawing a reference line here from this end so for 30, okay. Drawn and then connect this point, say from this corner point to this center point, okay. And then mark this point as capital G, okay, capital G. Now after drawing this, so I'll be showing this dimension 30. So copy this uh, whole diagram. Okay, go to move, create a copy, so take it and keep it here. Okay, now go to rotate and select create copy, select and C and G, so make it vertical. Okay, now you draw projection lines, okay, thin lines. We are drawing. Okay. 
So now we have to give the notations naming a top face, bottom face. First we write the bottom face A, B, C. This is simultaneously C1, 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 and this is So first we draw an outer boundary line from this end. Okay. The visible face, the top face visible here. Okay. This side is also visible. Zoom it. C C1 also visible, okay, but this bottom face not visible, this face. So it is drawn with the dashed line. And then part of the line here also dashed line. Okay, this line. A on the dashed line. Okay. And we have to draw an axis here. Axis from this end till here. Okay, axis. So now you can see in the question, so in this question they mentioned appears to be, appears to be means no bit angle. You have to draw an angle line of 45 degree and then you have to place it. So, here, an angle line it is for minus 35 degree. So it is showing an angle. So you have to select this uh, whole thing, this whole thing, okay, create a copy and select this with respect to this point, go to rotate, select this end and this opposite end, place it, okay, now you do the projection. So C1, so C1 we have here, B1 we have here, and B1 we have here, okay, similarly we have A1, okay, simultaneously we have O1, okay, so similarly we'll wait for bottom face. This is dash. Dash. So then we have this point B dash. This point we have C dash. So now we write the notations here. Same way, same way we are going to write this is C1 dash, this is O1 dash, okay, and this is B1 dash, okay, and this point we have D1 dash, and here we have. So first we are going to write the dash lines. You can see D1 part is near to X1 line. D1 to C1, D1 to A1, D1 to D is the dash line. So first you will draw a dash line. So D1 to C1, C1 dash, dash line. Then D1 to A1 dash, dash line. Okay. Then D1 dash to which D dash, dash line. Now, remaining thing will be drawn with a continuous line. Okay.
Here now there is an axis we have to show. Okay. So this completes the problem. You can see here. Okay. So this completes the problem. Hope you all enjoyed. So this extra lens I'm going to trim it.